This is a work part of uh, images, an age of our own making. Initially, when we uh, decided to uh, do this project, we decided that we we're going to produce part of the work in Ghana and we we're going to produce part of the work here in Denmark. I've always been interested in how artistic practice takes responsibility beyond itself, beyond just a symbolic act and also just beyond the artist practice within the studio. And of course, I'm interested in how history and also how time, modern day circumstances are implicated within how artists practice. And somehow, I think that with certain forms of aesthetics have become a certain uh, kind of he hegemony. And uh, I'm interested in proposing new ways of looking at things. And in doing that, the prevailing conditions are always manifested within the work that I do. So I guess an age of our own making is almost as if looking uh, reflecting back on the work in terms of the aesthetics, you can almost see a beautiful, subtle, yet you're not sure of what kind of image that the work or the intervention is trying to create. For me, I guess I'm always interested in production or conditions of production or if you like the sites of uh, production. And then somehow in my practice in Ghana, I'm always interested in how I can intervene within these already existing sites of production whether being it uh, an existing railway industry or a factory that is in operation or has been built many years ago and abandoned. And trying to see how uh, my practice can somehow intervene within the already existing conditions within that site. And then somehow also bring collaborators or characters from outside that space into that context to further implicate it in some ways. Also by doing that you realize that you are able to build a lot of relationships with various characters within the city and I think that for me that's very important when you are able to um, contribute to the change in ideology in terms of how people respond to the everyday things around them, the idea of the common it's very important and true, I think by enacting citizenship, I'm always interested in how ideology can be changed by just using things that we experience on a daily basis, but we don't really take cognizance of and try to amplify it in such a way that we can find some kind of relationship with it one way or the other.